Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eat Worlds, and on today's episode of Weapon of the Week, we're taking a look at the AK-5C. This is definitely one of the most popular carbines in BF4 because it's an early unlock, it's easy to handle, and it's adaptable to a range of different situations. In terms of stats, it's a very well balanced gun with a 700 RPM rate of fire, one of the fastest reloads in the game, and the fastest muzzle velocity in the category. Most weapons have at least one or two bad stats to balance them out, but the AK-5C really doesn't, and I think the only reason you can fault it is because of its average rate of fire. Now, I probably should mention that 700 RPM really isn't anything to be scoffed at. Some of the best weapons in the game are in the 7 to 800 RPM bracket. Obviously, the AK-5C isn't going to fire quite as fast as guns like the ACWR, but on the other hand, it's probably going to be able to land a whole lot more shots. This gun is a beast at mid-range, or at least as much of a beast as a carbine can be. It's not going to compare with most mid-range ARs, but it will hold its own, and it's one of the best all-round guns for when you're not playing Assault. My top tip for the AK-5C I think would be to make sure that you're prepared for enemies so that you can get the drop on them. Like I said, this gun is a very well-balanced weapon, but it's not exceptional in CQB, and more often than not you'll find yourself getting outshot by AKs if you're not careful. Also, don't be afraid to hipfire this gun. That's, after all, one of the benefits of a carbine versus an assault rifle. You can also get away with sidestepping while shooting with the AK-5C, but for mid to long range targets, you'll definitely want to stop and pop to make sure that you don't waste bullets. Now, in terms of attachments for the AK-5C, in this video, I'm running the gun with the Hollow Sight, Flash Hider, Ergo Grip, and the Target Detector. The hollow is more than enough for this gun, the flash hider will hide the muzzle flash, the ergo grip will improve mobility and hip fire, and the target detector will help spot enemy players. I'm really starting to become a big fan of the ergo and the vert grip because they can turn a carbine like the AK-5C into a run and gun machine. If you're more of a passive stop and pop kind of guy though, you might want to switch this out for the stubby grip instead, but I really think the AK-5C benefits more from the ergo in the long run. If you haven't already tried out the AK-5C, or if it's been a while since you've used this gun, then definitely give it a go. It's not the best gun for every situation, but it is a decent all-round gun, and it should serve you pretty well on just about every map. It's definitely one of my favourite guns in the game, and I think you'll find after only a short time, it'll end up becoming one of yours too. Hopefully this setup will work for you guys as well, but if you have any ideas on how you'd change it around, then feel free to let me know. But anyway, that just about wraps up this episode of Weapon of the Week, so let me know what you think of this setup and feel free to suggest a weapon and customization for next week's episode. As always, if you like what you see, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And if you haven't already, please check out all my other Battlefield 4 videos. I've got them all linked in a playlist in the description below. But until next time, see you later and have a good one.